Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the J3 Piper Cub um, Yellow Aeroplane. And this is the remote here. As you can see, it has this, um, this, which, a joystick that will allow you to go side to side. And this is the throttle, which will make your aeroplane or aircraft go faster and slower and stop and um, to turn the aircraft on you have to turn this on and off button on as you can see there's a red light that means it's on and this is called the trim rudder where you will get the aircraft to move whichever way you want more better and more um um less um happening to move that way and now i'll be showing you the aircraft this is the aircraft and yep yeah, and on the bottom of the aircraft there is a switch which you will switch to turn the aircraft on red light means the aircraft's on it's, um like the same as the remote and the propellers and um here is the charger for the um aircraft um that's the other end and while you're gonna charge the aircraft has to be off otherwise the aircraft won't charge because they'll just waste the battery um as you can uh, as you can see that little like hole um in behind the on and off button that is where you put this part of the charger in and in the side of the um remote will be that slot where you slide this part of the um charger in and um while you're going to charge you have to turn the remote on now i'll show you um the aeroplane will um turn the aeroplane on and fly it in here well not fly it um show you an example um it's a bit hard um okay so It's a bit, it's very complicated to do this while filming, so I might have to, um, um, do this, okay, so now, it's very hard, ah. here is the throttle going on with the aeroplane's propellers moving, and now, um, It'll be the same when you are putting the aeroplane down and doing uh, using the side to side while well, you're going to do it. I'll just show you how to do it on the ground. It might be a bit more better on the ground. Okay. Um, the trim rudder um, will move it like that now i'll just show you a few examples for this now i'll go to the side with it's um yeah that's um how you go to the right and um, left or right i don't know what one it is i wasn't watching and Okay, now I'm going to go more left. And you can't, res you can't reverse on this um, aircraft. Um, because on most aero remote control aeroplanes, you can't re reverse. Sometimes if they're little, you just carry them, carry them to space places. And if they're big, usually you just push them by the tail and move them. And... Um, now I'll show you full throttle if it works. Okay. See that? I'll show you again.
That is the aircraft, and if you are wondering about the front propeller, why it doesn't move, it just doesn't move for some reason. It's a very stupid reason. I don't know why, but it just doesn't move. And this is the remote. That's the trim rudder, right or left. And the antenna can go more higher. Um, it can go this high. Uh, I'll measure. It goes... Okay. It goes... 40... Uh... 40... It's a bit complicated to measure um, the antenna, but uh, the aeroplane's wingspan is about 32 centimeters, I think. Uh, 32? Mm, no, f about 39, I think. No, not 39, sorry, 20. Yes, it, it is 30 centimeters um long the wingspan is and the actual aeroplane is uh about 19 or 20 centimeters and the tail is about 11 or 12 centimeters now now um and that's most of it so bye um, so tune in next time. Bye.